Hey, all you wonderful, wonderful designers. Um, miss you guys. This video is going to take us through um, what we are doing for the paper prototyping assignment. Um, you are going to develop a mobile app, um, come up with a design, come up with an idea. It can be anything you want in the world. It doesn't even have to be logical or plausible. Like it can be like, um, superhero contact right so like if you need to get in touch with batman like it literally can be anything you want that you can um come up with i'm going to walk through it together um and then there's another video on how to use the app that we are going to be using um you are going to download an app that is called pop p-o-p -P. it is this app where's my camera this app right there Okay, so it's it's available on the um, Google Play App Store as well as the Apple App Store. Um, so I've already double checked; it's available for both Android and Apple operating systems, um, and it's free. And you can create as many prototypes as you, as you want. So if you really like this, like go nuts, create as many as you want. Um, in our Google Classroom, there's also templates. Um, okay, so here's the assignment. Um, in here are some of my directions. Um, this paragraph is just a brief direction or brief instruction, but all of the information you need for this assignment is down here. I know it looks like a lot. It's really not. Um, the Google Sheet is the rubric we're using. This is a link to um, downloading the iOS and Android prototype apps. Uh, the prototype, the pop app. Um, here is a Google slideshow, which will walk you through the steps. So step one, choose your template. Okay, so this will take you through step by step in a slideshow. We also have the Google Doc with all of your instructions in it. Um, so you're going to choose your template. Um, you can download templates from the SketchEyes device template website or you can simply just download one of these PDFs. Um, you do not have to create an app for every single one of these. I'm giving you options. I know I'm an iPhone user. Some people use Nexus. Some people use a Galaxy. Some people use a Note. Like, I, I don't care what you, which template you use. Just use a template for a phone. Or it can be an iPad app or a tablet. It's up to you, okay? Um, so you just click one of these. You can either print straight from here or download these templates. Um, have, I like the ones with the squares, that kind of helps you organize things, or you can have um, the blank template to work in. It's up to you again, your choice. Um, some of these are three up on a page. Some of these templates are two up on a page. Um, some of these templates look like this, where it looks like the screen is super long. That is to, um, be able to illustrate uh, like something that would scroll, right? So if you're pushing up the phone and um, if you're in an app, um, bah, 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 like Google Photos, you can scroll in the page, right? So that would allow you to illustrate um, a scroll. And then again, you have two ups, two up, with no dots and a scroll. You can print out as many of these as you want. Um, you can make as many pages in your app as you want. You can, the sky's the limit, okay? These are just as many templates as you want. Now, if you don't have a printer at home, cause like, I know I don't have a printer here. Um, there's a couple options. You can either tell me through email um, or comment on this assignment, which template you want and I will mail you hard copies. Easy peasy. They should be there in a day or two because it's local. Or um, you can take your phone, trace it on a piece of paper, and that can become your template. Or when it comes time to doing your, um, when it comes time to creating your um, device in the app, when you create an app, there are templates right on the phone that you can choose and you can do it digitally um, on the device itself. So it's up to you. There's many ways that you can do this. You don't have to have a printout copy of it. It is a little bit easier if you have a piece of paper and then you can draw on it and then you'll, you'll photograph and digitize that piece of paper. But it's up to you, okay? Um, so you have your templates there. Um, 
And basically, this is what you're going to be creating. So you come up with an idea, um, and then you have to do your concept drawings. So on a scrap piece of paper, not on a template piece of paper, or in a sketchbook. So you are going to write your concept. Okay, so here is my paper prototype and concept. Uh, so it's an app that can help you locate creamy stands. It has social media and map integration. It allows users to upload, up to, excuse me, upload locations and rate um, the stands that they've visited. They can also add photos. And then if you look really close, I have very roughly sketched out what my app will look like. Um, notice when I did this, it's just kind of quick rectangles, um, some really quick writing, some little shapes and arrows and notes, okay? This is like brainstorming right now. And then from here, you are going to redraw your app, okay? Um, on the template. So now is when we use the template, you're going to go in and really add your details, add your refinement, where your buttons are going to go. Um, so now it looks a little bit more like an app. You do not have to add a tremendous amount of color. I'm going to talk about color here in a second because um, it is just a prototype. It's just meant to inform, give you the idea of what an app will look like further down the line when you actually put it in development um, and create it digitally. So taking our rough concept to our um, prototype drawing on the piece of paper, we would then go to the app, okay? And there is a video in YouTube which will walk you through the instructions on how to photograph and like the process of using the app. And then when you're done with the app, and all of the hotkeys and putting in your links and everything. So once you're done following the instructions in the YouTube video on how to use the pop app to digitize your prototype, um, this is what you're gonna end up sending me. And so at the end of the day, we have a live clickable working prototype of what an app would do um, if you were going to design an app. And in this case, the app that I designed is one that will help you find and locate creamy stands um, when you're itching for a creamy. Um, it allows you to navigate to it. There'll be a photo of the stand. You could rate it. You can upload photos of you and your friends getting a creamy. Um, there's a button that will be live that will take you to Google Maps so it can give you directions on how to get there. Um, it brings you, your upload photo brings you here into your photo library. You can take videos or um, take a photo at the place and then post it um, and tag them in it. And so it's a really fun kind of interactive way of um, finding a creamy stand. I don't know. But you can literally, you can create a game. You can create um, a, an app like this. You can create a social media. Literally, the sky is the limit on what kind of app you want to create. Um, so it's up to you. Um, so all of that instruction is in the Google Doc. Um, before you start, uh, you're going to want to do the rough concepts. Um, here, these, the red text is meant for you to fill in. So like, what's the name of your app? What does it do? Why should a user download and use it? So answer those questions there. Um, please complete these following questions as well. So when we're talking about color, um, there's two types of buttons. You have the actionable buttons and the navigation buttons. If we are looking at these, um, the orange color that I have here are your um, navigation buttons. So this is telling me when you send this, I should be clicking on that. Because notice if I click on Haas's doghouse, that's not a live area. Notice the blue showing up, that's the button I created. So that's the only place that will work. Um, so the orange gives me navigation. The actionable buttons, are the blue ones. So I can click on the blue ones that will also take me back into other places. Um, the gray is the indicator on telling me what, what page I'm currently on in the app. So right now I'm on the near me page. I'm seeing all of these creamy stands that are near me. Um, I wanna click on the base store. 
I'm still in the near me section. It's just a subsection of what the first page was. And then when I click on upload photo, I'm now in the photo library, right? So we need to have at least three colors, the gray color that will tell me where I am. And then the other two colors are your pick. You just need to tell me which ones are which. So that's why you, I have that Google doc. Okay. So my actual buttons are blue and my uh, navigational buttons are orange, right? So I did, that's what I need to know in the Google Docs. So fill that in. And then you're going to download the app, follow the YouTube video that I made you. Um, here's another link to um, downloading the app. Um, and then at the end, you just share it with me and you're going to upload a photograph of your piece of paper. So I see the hard copy of all of the pages that you drew. Um, so you'll have two things when you turn in the the JPEG of the photo of the paper, and then the shared web link to the prototype that I can click through. Um, I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this project. Um, if you have any questions or you get stuck, whatever, please contact me, please email me, and don't forget to use those office hours. I'm, I'm always there, okay? Um, so enjoy.